I'm Christopher Zweig, and today on CJ at the Movies, I give you the scoop on the latest movies, including the made-for-Netflix documentary, The Mystery of Marilyn Monroe, The Unheard Tapes, Ben Foster and Danny DeVito, and Barry Levinson's latest biopic, The Survivor, the Finnish horror movie, Hatching, and Liam Neeson, Guy Pearce, and Monica Bellucci, and Martin Campbell's latest action movie, Memory. Let's take a look. Our first movie is The Mystery of Marilyn Monroe, The Unheard Tapes, which is the made-for-Netflix documentary about how investigative journalist Anthony Summers was trying to solve the true mystery behind Marilyn Monroe's death while looking back at her movie career and the famous people she crossed paths with. The opening explains that the recordings of Marilyn Monroe are real and the actors are lip-syncing those words. Many of us know her story, but not much on the archival recordings, hence the subtitle, The Unheard Tapes. Well, your phone is clean. Everything connects with the person's life, particularly hers, you know. The movie wants us to be curious about her death, movies, and spouses. This actress dealt with fame, abuse, and drugs, like most celebrities, which is unimaginable. Parts of the story go on a bit, but still director Emma Cooper and journalist Anthony Summers both want to dig deep inside everything they can provide for us about her, and it's often interesting and scary. Our next movie is The Survivor, the made-for-HBO movie about Harry Haft, a former Auschwitz prisoner who was forced to fight against other prisoners in the camps. Ben Foster gives one of his best performances in recent memory as Harry, who struggles to adapt to life outside the Holocaust. Harry Haft, I'm a journalist. I covered your fight. I'm interested in your story. Everybody knows my story. I'm the survivor of Auschwitz. To fight until fun man can no longer get up. That's Billy Magnesium as the main Nazi, and ever since his freedom, he's been on the search for his first love, while journalist Peter Sarsgaard publishes his story, which makes the Jewish community think he's a traitor. A Jew fighting for the Nazis? Not a good sign. It says that you made a deal to survive by fighting. You're a traitor! You think Leia's gone? I hope she's alive, and we'll keep looking for her. I have to be famous across America. Enough with the glamour shots, Rita Hayworth. Come on, get in here. Also with Vicky Kripes, John Leguizamo, and Danny DeVito, The Survivor was directed by Barry Levinson, who may be returning to form by retelling this true story without trying so hard. He has the right actors who are able to ease into their characters, particularly Foster as Harry, and Levinson tells both sides, not just in black and white and colored formats, but also for the intensities and convictions. So check it out. Our next movie is Hatching, a Finnish import released in America under IFC Midnight. We meet a family who is supposed to be the perfect family and are greeted by a mischievous crow. The daughter, played by Suri Solilana, wants to free it, but her mother, played by Sophie Heikola, snaps its neck. Well, that's a kind woman. The girl then ends up in the woods, puts an injured crow out of her misery, and decides to take home her egg and hatch it herself. <laughs> I guess it's not a crow. You think? And that's not the only monster in the film. The girl's mother pressures her into competing for the gymnastics competition, and throughout this movie, you hope that creature will punish her, or at least give her a personality check. Hatching is only formulaic when we have to deal with the little brother in various parts, but in other parts, we're amazed at how it's one of the many imports to have a small budget and yet draw us with the creature effects and character studies. It has its own distinctions on good and evil, and it's able to challenge us throughout this experience. If you're into this particular genre, which, as the new Scream film calls, elevated horror, then check it out. And our last movie is Memory, the latest Liam Neeson action movie remade from the Belgian film The Memory of a Killer, and I must say, I either don't want to pay attention to it, or I'll pretty much forget about it. He plays an assassin for hire who is on the verge of having Alzheimer's, while refusing to take out his next target, who happens to be the daughter of a sex trafficker. Call the contract off. I don't hurt children, ever. Listen to me very carefully. The girl stays alive. You're answerable to me. Guy Pearce co-stars as an FBI agent on the child prostitution case who would eventually cross paths with Neeson. Trafficking, Vincent Sierra. I can't keep doing your job for you. Who is this? You're too slow to make them pay. What they did to children. They're not doing anything about it. He's taking out the traffickers that we couldn't.
I suppose these two actors give some decent performances, but memory didn't reel me in. It's the routine action film directed by the usually effective Martin Campbell with all the cliches and trivial challenges. Even Monica Bellucci and Ray Stevenson as some villains seem bored by the movie's plot. Neeson has made some entertaining action films in the past, but he needs the right script in order to live up to his full potential, so skip it, skip it. Okay, now let's recap the movies I reviewed this week. Thumbs up for the mystery of Marilyn Monroe, The Unheard Tapes. Thumbs up for The Survivor with Ben Foster excelling his talents as Harry Half, the Polish boxer who had to fight for the Nazis in the ring. Thumbs up for the strange and weirdly challenging Hatching released in the US by IFC Midnight. And finally, and I thought I was really enjoying the movies, thumbs down for memory, the latest boring action picture starring Liam Neeson. Well, those are the movies I'm reviewing this week. I'm Christopher Zweig. Stay safe and I'll see you at the movies. For more amazing content, please like and subscribe to my channels, and you can also read my reviews at cjatthemovies.com and listen to my podcast reviews at newhdradio.com.